It's a difficult time of the year, innit? Even Santa's unsure what he should get his good girls and boys this festive season. But when I saw Trent looking frigid, I knew exactly what I should be wrapping up for you lot. A new set of sliders. Yeah, I knew you'd be buzzing. Man's used to whipping balls in behind. But I've got a behind the scenes of what Trent's balls look like this December. Alright then, geezer. Back with another set of sliders then, boys. Now, again, uh, updated sliders, base sliders, really aren't, aren't changing that much at the minute. Uh, it's just I felt a slight shift in the game uh, to make it actually a little bit harder, a little bit harder to score anyway. Uh, the game still challenging, uh, but not too challenging. And that's what I've tried to keep here. I've tried to make things open up a little bit more. Uh, give you a little bit more time and space, but still keep it quite challenging. And uh, that's the biggest thing for me. I want the challenging, realistic gameplay to still be there. So we'll go through, as we always do, we'll go through simulation settings first. Then we'll go through to the CPU sliders. And then I'll go into a game and I'll show you how I've set up my, uh, my, my base settings anyway. So um, custom type, of course. Uh, wind effects, we're going to keep on low. I'm enjoying the, the the low effects. You can still feel the effects of them, um, but I think when you start going up to a medium, uh, you start getting a bit a bit crazy. Um, they, it says that it ranges from calm to medium. Uh, uh, yeah, mate, Storm Dara, shout out. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't want that every single day of the week, and that's what you get most of the time if you start doing uh, the, the the minor ones. I would say if you want something realistic, maybe once a year. Um, once a season, go and go and stick it on medium for I don't know a couple of games, but don't. I, I'll just keep it on low. That's what I've got it on. And I've also turned the weather effects off. Now, um, the the weather effects being on, I really like the way the ball skips off the turf. So when you stick a ball in over the top and it skips off the turf and maybe runs away a little bit, or um, I, I don't know, some of some of the, the passes get stuck in the in the ground or something like that. When it's every single pass for every single player on the pitch at every point of the game, it starts to piss me off and it ruins what could be a good flowing game. I've, ju I've just finished um, uh, recording the, the Starbridge gameplay for this week and I really wanted to enjoy the Champions League and I started off recording and the ball was getting stuck in the turf and things like this and I was, I was playing against Dortmund. And oh my god, it was the most infuriating game. Not just because Dortmund were good, it was just infuriating because I couldn't put three or four passes together. And in the end, I got so pissed off I had to turn it off. So I'm leaving it off. Um, I know there's a few people that are enjoying it. Mate, if you're enjoying it, crack on with yourself. But at the minute, I'm keeping it off because I just don't like it. Um, uh, like I said, the, the ball skipping off the turf is lovely. It's a great little addition to the game. But they've absolutely, once again, EA have found something that could be good. And they've absolutely threw everything at the wall. And they're just trying to see what sticks. What's going to stick is going to be the ball, physics, skipping off the turf, etc, etc. What won't stay is the ball getting stuck in the turf every two minutes. Now, sprint speed, we've lowered this slightly because we've also... I can't remember from the last time if it was on 48 or, or, or lower. Um, but I think we have lowered the acceleration as well. Now, my ideas around that is uh, the game was feeling a bit arcadey. It was, it was a bit quick. It was a bit kind of skipping around all over the place. Uh, so what I've done for the sprint speed, I've lowered that to 32. Uh, to slow it down a little bit and I've also lowered the acceleration down I think maybe by one I can't really remember but we're on 47 for acceleration that's just going to mean that in that middle of the park when you get the ball when you start running into open spaces their team aren't going to just dive on you not everyone is going to be absolutely creaming at you every single time that you get the ball gives you a little bit of chance to pick some balls out some through passes maybe even a couple of long shots 
but that's what I've been looking for. I've been looking to try and open up that middle of the pitch a little bit more um, so that we can play a game of football rather than just be pinging it out to wingers and, and, and doing all that stuff all the time. And it's exactly the same for the CPU. Uh, shot error. I've lowered this. So I've lowered it to 64 because, again, um, I was finding that it was a little bit harder to score uh, and not just because it was harder to just you, you, you can't just bang shots from everywhere um, but actually I was finding that even finesse shots and things like that they weren't exactly settling where I wanted them to be or if I knew I'd made a mistake by I don't know hitting something too early or being at a wrong angle um, even the shots that I was just like straight down the middle uh, were still a little bit wayward um, so actually I think the, um, the, 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 the shot error needed to come down a little bit and I've done it for the CPU as well because again I was feeling that they weren't get, really getting the chances and when they did get the chances my goalkeeper was, was, was playing unbelievable it might just because the Hoenn is in goal I don't know uh, but pass error I've also uh, I, I've actually stuck up now uh, so we've upped the pass error a little bit and again that's why I was uh, I was feeling that in the middle of the park there was a lot of one touch passes and things like that that weren't really not going awry but they just weren't they, they weren't feeling realistic uh, some of the, the, the passes that the CPU and, and I was performing to be honest uh, were a bit arcadey a bit cartoony so I've, I've upped our pass error as well uh, shot speed uh, is at 50. I don't know if I've changed this. I can't remember, but we're keeping it at 50 because it's working at the minute. And pass speed, I've brought down uh, and the discrepancy between us and them is just one. So 38 for us and 39 for them. Again, just reducing that kind of the quickness in the play and the cartoony feel of it. Uh, injury frequency is going to stay at 75, but I've dropped the injury severity down to 15 because I was seeing, uh, again, a lot of injuries taking place, which is good. Uh, I want a couple of them injuries where you, you're out for a couple of days and it makes you, you rotate your squad. But I was starting to get the, the ACLs, the knees, the, the things like that, where actually it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin room my my squad for that season uh, so i've taken it down slightly since doing that i've still got the injuries obviously we're on 75 percent so it's it's going to give you some injuries but they're lower um, i think uh simba in the uh, uh not to not to spoil anything but simba in this week's episode uh gets a injury towards the end of the season uh, that is, it's touch and go whether he's going to be around for the latter latter stages. So again, I, I like that. It's realistic and it gives me something to think about now. I'm going to now think, yeah, thinking about what kind of personnel I've got and also just moving people around a little bit. Uh, goalkeeper ability then. Now, big discrepancy and this is where I was finding the discrepancy for me. Uh, the play, the the opposition, we're getting through. But my goalkeeper seemed to be a bit unbelievable at times. Uh, and also, because we've lowered the uh, shot error for us, I've upped the goalkeeping ability for them. So the discrepancy, it, it's a big one, I've got to be honest. But I think this is where it's going to be. It's going to be a challenging game. Um, and we'll get... The, the gameplay to open up a little bit so it'll be a little bit funner to play but their goalkeeper is going to be very very good now if you find that the goalkeeper is is a bit unrealistic and you, you're finding loads of uh, time and space to shoot but you're not scoring really at all do drop it down I'd say drop it down to 60 maximum okay so between 65 and 60 but I'm sticking it on 65 at the minute. I feel that that's nice. I feel that that's good. We're gonna try again. I'm trying to uh, trying to make it as realistic as possible. Marking. We've dropped this one right down. The discrepancy between us and them is four, uh, but we're on 16. They're on 64. I've dropped it down slightly because again, I want to find pockets of space. I want uh, in that midfield for it to feel like a little bit more of a football game rather than oh it's just dense people in there oh I'm not going to get through there so actually what I'm going to do I'm just going to start slinging balls out to our left right back left right winger and then slinging balls in the box I don't want it to become arcade I don't want it to become stupid uh, so we're going 16-64 for marking 
uh, run frequency. Um, I, I found it a lot better uh, when we got up to 90. I've even upped it to 93. I think between 95 and 90 is where we should be sitting at the minute. That's why I'm on 93. Uh, I, I'm just finding that runs are a lot better. People are actually starting to make runs now rather than me having to wait for them and, and, and things like that. I'm really enjoying it being so high. Um, so we, we're keeping it quite high. I've even upped it a little bit. Line height then, I've lowered this so that the team will drop back a little bit more. Again, my whole aim here is to try and open up that midfield so that we can we can play a little bit of football. So 66 and 66 discrepancies. Uh, there's, there's, there's nothing between us and them. I just wanted their defence to sit back slightly more so that we can start to get some of that um, some of that midfield action. Uh, line length then. So again, how stretched or compact they are for the length of the pitch, goal to goal. Um, I've, I've upped this slightly. I think we're on 35-ish or 37. Uh, I've upped this to 4 again to open up some of that midfield um, and also to get some of their players a little bit further forward as well so yeah, yeah again with this and this I'm feeling that the, the team are a little bit further forward um, the opposition anyway uh, I know it's, it's been a real struggle this season to try and get their team further forward so for me this is, is feeling pretty nice at the minute line width we've gone with 50 um, bang in the middle uh, to be honest I, I played around with it above 50 and below 50 and to be honest 50 is feeling feeling nice and nice and good so again that's for the width of the pitch uh, from I don't know where you take a throw into where you take a throw in sort of thing fullback positioning uh, we've gone 75 I think I've touched uh, yeah this has gone down a touch uh, to 75 uh, and again I just thought that I was finding a little bit more uh, space in behind and also that their fullbacks were pushing up further which again meant my players on the wings they were struggling to get a little bit of space and again that's what I've tried to do I've tried to open up that middle of the pitch so that we can play a little bit of football rather than it being just kind of really arcadey again uh, first touch control with um, first touch error sorry uh, 64 and 64 I've upped it slightly only slightly though um, but again to try and slow the game down a little bit I felt it was too quick and uh, this is just going to mean that you have to think a little bit more about how you're controlling something and where you're controlling it and where you're flicking the ball into space and things like that. So uh, again, I think this is this is a, a really nice balance at the minute. So simulation settings look like that. Our CPU settings are looking like this. Now tackle aggression, I would say between 50 and 55 is, is a good little spot. Uh, I would say 53 for me would, would, would be working at the minute, um, but I had it on 55 uh, in, in my last test, and that was it was pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, again, I'm trying to open up that midfield. I don't want people just diving on us, uh, and 55 seemed nice. You could even go a little bit lower. Build-up speed, I think I've upped this slightly to 67. Again, to try and get the, the, the opposition team to be a little bit braver um, and a little bit quicker in transition so that we um we're challenged a little bit more basically that's all it is uh, i've upped the shot frequency as well um i don't think i've really experienced many real long shots um unless they're just are just outside the box so again i've upped that a little bit just so that we can start to see some of them some of them bangers uh the only time that i'm seeing cpu take shots from deep is when they take free kicks against me and they seem to bloody going all the time uh, first touch pass frequency I've upped this a little bit to 65 again just so that the, the, the team are quicker in transition and they are they're, they're putting on us a little bit we, we want to be um, we want to be on the back foot at times uh, and I have found that that this set of uh, this set of sliders and this episode that I'm recording um, I'm, I'm finding that they are a little bit quicker in transition so uh, it, it seems to be working there Cross frequency, I've upped it again to 95. 90, just didn't cut it. I, I've got to be honest, at some point, I, I don't know when I'm going to get to that point, but it might be on 99 at some point. I've upped it a little bit to 95 just to see if we can. I'm finding that they're crossing a little bit more, but still not as much as I expect them to be. I know the modern game is take the ball into the corner, pass it back into a midfielder, etc., etc., but I've, I, you, you still see crosses. In this game, you almost don't see the crosses. Dribble frequency, um, 58. 
uh, the, this might be either the same or a little bit higher uh, and I am finding that the only times that they really trouble me is when they get their ball into their striker and their striker is quick if their striker is strong they don't really tend to get past us if their striker is quick then if I make a, a mistake then they go past and that's where I'm seeing like the, the, the challenge really so uh, I, I may have upped this slightly or even kept it the same from last time just to keep that kind of level of challenge and that, that kind of slight difference in the way teams might play uh, so that the dribble frequency is something that they can utilise rather than it just being passing and then skill move frequency I've upped it slightly to 65 um, I, I really like when the CPU does does tricks and flicks and things like that. You only see it with some of the better players. Uh, and someone asked me the other day about um, like player based difficulty. Um, I don't think I have it on. I will, I will double check in a bit. Um, but I think realistically, that's where you find um, the the difference between some players, the better players, and some of your more skillful players is that skill frequency. Um, I haven't played against Lucas Paqueta in ages, but when I do play against him, he does that kind of little um, like heel to roll thing, uh, and it does me every single time. Uh, I played against Alexis McAllister a couple of games ago, uh, and he did the same. He actually megs me at one point as well, and I really like it. It's something that not always happens, and it doesn't have to always happen, but I really, really like it when it does because it just adds that level of complexity to the game. So that is uh, our CPU sliders then. Right then, so in some of the game settings, now um, looking at these, I had, a, I had a question the other day about player-based difficulty and competitor mode and things like that. Now, do I think they're good? They can be. The idea of them is really, really solid, um, but in reality doesn't actually make the game very realistic so i keep them both off now again i totally understand why people would have them on um if if you want that extra extra level of challenge uh, but the idea around my sliders and settings is that it's challenging gameplay but it's also slightly realistic as well um so we're gonna have them both off but I'll go with five minute length, that's just because I record. Uh, I'd probably go four minutes um, if I weren't recording and I just wanted to play the game for fun, but because I record, uh, I need more moments to happen in the game, etc, etc. So five minutes feel, feels good for me. Difficulty, ultimate of course, both of these off, uh, and then pretty much all of this this stuff, yeah, just keep it, keep it default. Um, Gameplay settings then, uh, again, I always go through these, not much of a change this time actually. So competitive preset, uh, we go with uh, shot assistance on precision and timed finishing off, I hate time finishing. Uh, through ball assistance, we've got semi. Now, I would say that if you want slightly more challenging gameplay, keep it on manual. Um, I've been finding that the through pass assistance is messing up again for me um, but if you can't use manual then use on semi I, like, like, like you've just seen there I've had it on semi for the last couple of games uh, I would say manual for me feels better but semi still is gonna is gonna work okay for you but but the lob through pass I'm gonna keep with semi um, it, it just seems to be messing up when it's on manual uh, it'll either go way too far or it'll go just in front of you. Having said that, I have recently been noticing that the little chipped through ball over the defensive line when you're running onto it is not working as well. So again, it's another one of those. If you can't use manual um, because it's going to give you that greater level of detail, then use semi. But I am, I am from this point on going to be trying manual for myself as well so ground pass assistance though semi uh manual is just a bit crazy uh, i know someone keeps um uh someone keeps commenting on my video saying if you want to if you want to play radio well and if you actually want to play fifa rather than playing an arcade mode blah, 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 just relax man no oh, it, it's not that deep you know what i mean just just play ground pass semi semi assisted if you want to cross assistance I'm losing my rag with it. Uh, assisted, no. Manual is hard. 
But then semi-assisted just seems to be going wherever it wants. So I might actually try it on manual again. But again, it's one of those things. Just keep playing around with it. If it works for you, fantastic. Uh, lob pass assistance. Keeping it on manual. Always have it on manual. That's just the way I play. I'll never turn it off. And then pass receiver lock late. Precision pass. Never really use it. Doesn't really matter. Directional for, cross, uh, for clearance assistance. Uh, tactical defending. Has to be. Uh, pass, block, uh, pass block assistance on uh, air balls and loose balls. Yeah, for auto switching, um, but switching uh, move assistance with none. Right stick switching, classic. Player relative, and yeah, all the rest of it. I don't think I really need to, to go into too much time. That is another set of sliders for you geezers. Uh, hopefully, they help you out. If not, keep it to yourself. Nah. Um, Hopefully these sliders help you. Um, I'm I'm really enjoying the game still. I know it's got its problems. I know it's got its bugs. But let's face it, we only play this game for fun. We don't. It's not our life. It's just to make you feel good. If it's not making you feel good, chill out. Take a couple of weeks off it. Don't play it. Stuff like that. Um, but let's just try and find the positives in it and by using these sliders and sharing your sliders and telling me how these sliders affected your game and how to make it better and etc etc start to share this stuff and just just making the best from the game like I said I know it can be crap at times but let's just let's just love it for what it is you know what I mean but with all that being said give you much love thank you again for getting involved with one of these sliders and i can't wait to hear your thoughts how these are treating you etc etc so much love i'll see you on saturday for episode nine of starbridge but until then geezers it's much love for me i'll see you in a bit and